Uh, I would like to address the same question to Christian Morales, uh, Vice President of Intel. Вы можете говорить и по-русски. Спасибо. Just a couple of words I wanted to say. Uh, first Let's of move, all, move the mic closer. First of all, on the quality of education here in Russia, uh, we have a very strong presence with about a thousand engineers uh, here in five research and development sites, from Nizhny Novgorod to Saint Petersburg to Moscow to Sarov to um, uh, and uh, a couple of other places. I want to uh, recognize and praise the quality of the engineers in science, in engineering, in physics, and in math. And in the Intel Science and Engineering Fair that is uh, conducted every year uh, uh, throughout the world with thousands of participants, the Russians uh, have been, uh, the Russian students have been proposing more and more projects, and the number of um, awards that have been won by Russian students has been increasing exponentially in the last years. So this has to be noticed. And uh, the projects were obviously presented in Russian, but also in English and even in other languages, which means that there is more and more internalization that is taking place from a Russian student, and there is more and more mindset from the uh, Russian students to uh, think internationally. I want to uh, mention also that when it comes to very leading projects, which is what we are developing not only for today but also for tomorrow, the Russian teams we have here are involved in the absolute uh, next generation architecture of microprocessor developments, in the compiler technology, which is absolutely key for software development, in the um, 3D graphics, in um, visual computing, which is the, ba the, 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 the big next uh, thing that will happen, uh, will happen in terms of uh, experience and uh, uh, usage, uh, usage models that will be brought to the users out there. So, um, as uh, Mrs. Sokolova was saying, uh, it's maybe not a matter of quality, it's maybe more a matter of scale and a matter of being understood and known worldwide. So I think the quality of engineering is second to no one here in, uh, in Russia. Maybe the things we have to spur uh, more, and a lot has been said uh, uh, around this already, and I don't want to reiterate it, but it's to work more on entrepreneurship and scaling the, um, uh, you know, the projects to have a worldwide projection, rather than only having a region or a Russian uh, projection. Because Russia being so, so large already with so many states, uh, there is a tendency to, to have a regional projection or a, a country projection, but not a worldwide one. And this is maybe the one where, uh, by doing more uh, international innovation collaboration, we can uh, contribute uh, to make, um, you know, to work on some of the initiatives that Mr. Kolova and the Minister were, were uh, alluding to. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, since uh, we are uh, running out of time, I will address, uh, I will move the questions to the end of the, uh, of the discussion and I will uh, therefore ask a question from uh, Claude Canizares, uh, Vice President of Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Uh, Claude, what is your view as an outsider from the uh, Russian uh, educational system? You've been observing it, I guess, for decades, not always coming here, but probably observing it from a distance. And how? How does that look compared to other countries? What have other countries uh, done to increase competitiveness of their education systems? Well, uh, thank you very much, first of all, for the invitation. To, uh, I feel uh, privileged to be able to interact with this uh, distinguished panel. Um, le let me make some observations which may not be a direct answer to your question, okay. but I hope will help uh, uh, further the discussion. Uh, First of all, I, I can't help noticing that as you make yourself more competitive, uh, you, I am part of the competition you are trying to compete against. Uh, and so that m moves me to um, suggest that w whereas competition and cooperation are sometimes seen as opposites, I actually see them as very much um, uh, interconnected. Uh, you cannot... Um, uh, the, the f American phrase, uh, if you can't beat them, join them, which should really be changed to say, if you can't join them, you won't be able to beat them. Um, and I think that the um, uh, opportunities for um, cooperation with international universities, certainly with those in the United States, including my own, I, are, are very great. So, um, so I'll make a few points along those lines. Uh, one obvious way to attract more students that um, would start at least at a lower impact 
uh, way is through student exchanges. And of course, exchanges um, suggest a two-way street. Uh, and I was certainly pleased, and I think others were as well, to hear the president this morning commenting on uh, support for Russian students to uh, go internationally. And uh, you yourself, um, uh, Rector uh, Guryev, have uh, experienced being uh, abroad and then coming back. And, but, and uh, but it was not paid by the Russian state. Understood. But if more people uh, had the opportunity to do that, uh, it could have a very salubrious effect. Uh, and, um, and then also it would educate uh, the universities to which they go about the possibilities back of, of sending their own students uh, here uh, to Russia. Um, uh, another obvious way to do cooperation that will build those ties, of course, is through research. And much of that is going on, including with my own institution. Uh, and I think that that's coupled to the next point I want to make, and that is that um, it is the interaction and the combination of research and education together uh, that actually will can provide a very attractive venue for international students who might come here to take advantage of opportunities they may not find in their own uh, institutions. And I would say, certainly at my, at my institution, we find that that extends very much into the undergraduate as well as the graduate area where it may be more um, uh, commonly understood. Um, f finally, uh, I, th I think it, it was um, uh, Rector Livanov, who first mentioned uh, the sectoral nature of some uh, many of the universities uh, in this country, um, that is something which I'm sure you are addressing and will continue to address. As you do that, you actually have the opportunity to remake a curriculum and maybe leapfrog the sort of disciplinary focus that international, most international universities are still built around uh, to create interdisciplinary. Um, educational opportunities, which is where a lot of the action is these days. At MIT, the two most exciting and explosive areas are in, in energy research, which crosses very much disciplines of engineering and science, but also, of course, social science and management, uh, since the scale issues are so huge. Uh, and then um, the other one is the convergence of the life sciences with the physical sciences and, engi and engineering, uh, which is a, a, a complete explosion. And um, uh, so there are great opportunities as you remake um, and, and readjust your system to actually leapfrog and maybe get out ahead of some of the competition. Thank you very much, Claude. Um, uh, Claude upomenul, uh, uh, Thank you. Claude quoted President Medvedev, uh, who said that uh, he will support uh, the program to, for uh, which uh, sends students uh, abroad, Russian students abroad. I would like to uh, ask Murad uh, Safizadeh, uh, President of the Harvard uh, Club of Russia. Uh, thank you, Sergei. Uh, my predecessors were very brief, and I will try to be also brief so that to leave enough time for questions. As Sergei said in the morning session, during the plenary session, the president uh, talked about education as uh, one of his priorities, of his policies, uh, of policies for modernization. And he announced that he instructed the government to develop and uh, implement and plan and implement the uh, program, uh, educational program for Russian students in leading uni uh, global universities, international universities. The uh, development program the government has would be impossible to realize without uh, well-educated, well-qualified people. The Russian education system would struggle to do that independently on its own without inviting uh, professors and students from abroad. It would be very difficult specifically uh, to uh, develop or, and to implement, uh, to introduce new technologies without such a step. Uh, no economy, no education system can exist uh, independently in the today's uh, globalized world. And um, people, uh, talented people, well-qualified people, and their knowledge 
helps every country. Uh, this program uh, would help to increase significantly the number of Russian students who would go to study to leading uh, international universities uh, and then would come back to work in Russia, including uh, working in the public sector, uh, uh, which would include the education system. This program is not an alternative to uh, the Russian education system. It would help, on the, uh, it would rather help to implement faster PhD programs, for instance, here, because the graduates from foreign universities, Russian graduates, will come back and will teach. Uh, this program will accelerate, accelerate those efforts uh, which are uh, and steps which are taken to modernize the Russian education system. Another question, is there a demand for good quality education in Russia? Um, I participated in the youth forum which preceded the main forum. And if you ask this question there, uh, in, including potential students uh, and the young entrepreneurs, their, their answer would have been a very loud yes. and. Uh, so someone uh, who was able to obtain very good education, uh, I must say that uh, this is a moral question. Do students have a right to a choice of education? I think yes. Uh, I'll switch over from one information carrier to another using modern technologies and say, um, why do we need a good quality education system? Uh, there was a lot of research conducted into productivity in the Russian economy. And McKinsey, um, a, a global company, conducted such research and uh, surveys. And Putin, our prime minister, mentioned uh, that the main problem of the Russian economy is very low productivity. McKinsey say that Russia uh, only has uh, one quarter of productivity that U.S. have in some areas, uh, we can increase it by uh, many times by modernizing the uh, our human resource base, for instance. And we need to do that by using modern education technologies. Russia is behind many countries of the world in that, and I agree with our minister, with Forsinka. We, we should not compare Russia with Singapore. We, we should rather try to compare Russia with China. I think by uh, size and the size of the economy, including, and the ways the uh, country is developing, is, uh, China is uh, much more similar to us to Singapore. 30 two out of 39 rectors of leading universities uh, have uh, degrees from Western universities. And uh, the, uh, many of the ministers uh, in the government uh, have Western education. 82% uh, percent, uh, of their academicians, uh, academics, uh, leading academics of China had uh, degrees from Russian, have degrees from Russian universities. Uh, sorry, foreign universities, leading universities in the last 30 years. China sent uh, abroad and brought them back uh, about one and a half million students. Russia, on the other hand, educated about 100,000 students abroad. The U.S. says that uh, they uh, grant about 5,000 visas to Russian students per year. This is not sufficient. This is not enough. We need to accelerate this process, as President Medvedev mentioned in his speech today. Okay, you have one more minute. Yes, I'm about to wrap up. Um, studies in uh, leading universities, uh, uh, international leading universities, and then return of Russian students back home would help to accelerate modernization of the economy. And this is a very important subject because without uh, attracting successful graduates, we will not be able to modernize our economy. It's been mentioned here, or rather someone said why uh, Russian education is not competitive. Um, one of the answers uh, that was suggested was that we need to promote, to advertise uh, our education better in some of the areas, because in some of the areas, some uh, sciences and um, uh, we are competitive. 
sufficiently competitive. Uh, we need to understand where we are coming from. If we believe, if we are confident that in some of the areas we are rather good, uh, we will not achieve, uh, we will not attract students into those universities. Thank you.